Greg, um, you know, credit for, uh, for a couple of things. One, you know, our administration uh, acting quick, you know, in and around uh, the, the, the scheduled Georgetown game for us having the ability to play a game today, which was, you know, a, a buy. And we had talked about it for a while, but just putting it together is not easy in the times that we're living in between testing and all the logistics that got to go into it. So I'll give credit to, to um, you know, administration, both uh, Peter Tom Bosco and especially Dwayne, Dwayne Peavy for, for acting quick and efficiently on getting the game for us today. Uh, secondly, you know, for our guys, and, and I've said this, um, and I'm going to continue to say it uh, over and over. I told the TV talent before the game, and, and, and anytime I have a chance publicly, um, you know, our, our guys have been through, I'm not, I'm not sure we've been through the worst of times compared to everybody else. It's a lot of teams struggling, but from the time we got here, in July, late July until until Wednesday in our cancellation game against Georgetown, they've been through more than anybody could imagine. I'd have to talk to you for three hours right now to explain a lot of the things that they've been through, which can affect you physically, obviously, but especially emotionally and and pauses. And, you know, three times we were at, at arenas or at you know cities where we had games canceled and everything in between that they've had to go through. Uh, and still, you know, be able to want to play, should play, and then the expectation is playing well. So uh, I give them a ton of credit, not not just for today, but just the resiliency of, of staying the course as, as best they can. Um, the game today, you know, happy because we haven't had a happy locker room in a long time. So winning, is that was our, our focus over the last, you know, two days, is we want the locker room to feel different uh, than it has the last few weeks. Uh, so we accomplished that goal and and we're still figuring out our identity you know and and i think as i've said to them i've said uh, before um we, we're a competitive group um and that's that was something we can hang our hat on we saw it today but we saw it today in spurts you start off the game well uh, we had a little bit of a lull we picked it up again uh second half we started slow midway through got to 13 and then it went from 13 to, to 24, I believe, in a, and, you know, when, or actually it was 64, 44, and then increased from there. And so our competitive spirit is, I think, something we have to hang our hat on, and we did today. Uh, and then when you do that, you know, defense comes a little bit easier. And I, and I thought, you know, both individually and collectively, that we played more consistently uh, than we have previously in, on the defense. We still got a lot of things, obviously, to clean up. Uh, but but that was that was you know, collectively something that I was I was happy to see, and so you know I, I have a lot of respect for the way that Valparaiso plays and was concerned about it. But I thought we did a really good job of handling uh, their 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 patient and effective offense. Okay, we'll go with the first question from Steve Newhouse. Go ahead, Steve. Hey, Dave. Uh, given the short notice that you had on this game, uh, what was it like for you in terms of you know the game prep and the scout and everything? Well, you know, um, I, I guess I can say old school, and that makes me an older older person. But, you know, w where I was uh, most comfortable over a lot of years was that we never really worried about the other team until the last 30 to 20 minutes the day before the game. Uh, scouting has gotten so intricate, you know, analytics and all those kind of things. So you do it at least two, sometimes three days before. Uh, because we've been through so much, we've had a lot of one-day preps. Uh, on, uh, on Wednesday, when we found out that we weren't going to play Georgetown, we, we rearranged our, our travel plans and got back home Wednesday night. Uh, Thursday, because of Wednesday, I, I wanted to make sure they just played basketball. So we, we played, we played with some intensity. We didn't mention anything about our, our opponent, although we kind of knew that, that um, we were going to play Valpo. And then the concentration was yesterday and taking away, again, the way they play offense is a little different. And so you really got to be careful uh, about how you go about your scouting. And I thought we did, you know, a really good job of, of handling their, their their choice screens, you know, their cuts, all the things that they do to break a defense down. And so I'm um, really happy that our guys did that. And it was just a quick one-day prep and, and getting ready for a team that's difficult to prepare for. Uh, next question from Lawrence Kramer. Go ahead, Lawrence. Uh, hey, Coach, congrats on the win today. Could you just uh, touch upon uh, Romeo's game today? It seemed like he was aggressive and kind of just confident early on. 
Yeah, you know, um, again, I think I think he, he he started out the first game back against Providence and and shot the ball well, played well, and you know, kind of dipped in a little highs and lows. And today was a really good high for him. Not not just because he scored points, but he was Romeo. You know, he has the opportunity to be not good, not not great, but a very elite level defender on, on a lot of positions. And I thought he did that today. He focused in on that. He rebounded better. Uh, he was around the basket more on both ends. And then he shot the ball obviously pretty well. And, and that's something that he's, he's trying very desperately to add to his game. So um, his all around game was really, really good today. And it's, it's something that, you know, as we get organized more specifically to be able to get he, Javon, uh, and Charlie playing at that level on both ends is, is really what we're trying to seek. Then everything else happens from there. And, and uh, you know, he did a really good job of that today. And, and I uh, give credit for you know his mindset and then his ability to play play at that level. Right, go ahead, Lawrence. You got a follow up? Yeah, uh, Coach. I think last game, you know, we talked about the, the turnovers and improving on that. Do, were you more pleased uh, today with just the, the turnover with the limited amount of turnovers compared to the last game? Well, you know, it dep depends on the half. We had four at halftime, which was really really good, and we had eleven in the second half because we got you know those those gaps that I talked about that we got a little bit. Uh, careless on all on all things with our intensity, our defensive focus, and then obviously with the ball in our hands. And so, you know, we still got to get better at it. We were 15 assists and, and uh, 15 turnovers. So I'd like to have that look better, you know, but but I'm going to be patient because as we continue to do the things that we ask our guys to do on a day-to-day -day basis, hopefully one of those things will be reduction of turnovers on a, on a more consistent basis. Uh, any more questions for Coach? Raise your hand real quick here. Uh, go ahead, Paul Oren. Go ahead from North. Yeah, Coach, I cover Valpo. Um, I, I guess I'll, I'll just open this up generally and just say the name Javon Freeman Liberty. What was the conversation like with him um, that you were going to play Valpo? Kind of how did – was he excited? Was he, you know, or whatever? And and just generally, what has Javon kind of meant and brought to your team so far? Well, you know, he uh, he, he means a, a, a lot to this program. Uh, one, because he's a really good player. Uh, more importantly, that he's a tremendous young man. Uh, he's local, you know, and it means something to have have really good people and good players from here in Chicago on your team. Uh, the fact that, that, you know, he is back home makes him feel hopefully a lot more comfortable about himself both on and off the court. And, you know, we didn't talk uh, a whole lot about Valpo. There's the obvious, so we, you know, hey, we're going to make sure that Javon uh, returns back to the scene of the crime and playing uh, against his old team and teammates. You know, there might have been a couple of questions that our assistants asked about, uh, about personnel or about style of play, those kind of things. But, you know, J Javon is um, – uh, a unique individual that he's a little bit more uh, reserved. And so he's not a rah-rah guy. He wasn't going to light up the locker room and say, let's go, you know, kick their rear ends or anything like that. He's going to try to show it in his play. Um, you know, he, he usually plays better than he did today, but I'm, I'm, I have no question that um, he, he, like everybody else on our team, is coming around to be the guy that I know he can be. He's a, he's a frontline guy that, you know, uh, can do a lot of different things and happy to have him. Uh, and, and competing against his old team today, I'm sure, was a little awkward for him. But at the same point in time, I thought he handled it really, really well. Okay, any other questions for Coach? All right, thanks, Coach. Uh, we got a couple of players lined up here. Yep, we're good here, Greg. Whoever you want to have go first, Javon or Romeo. Uh, let's have Javon hop in real quick and take a couple questions with Paul. Thank uh, you very much for that. Thank you. Go ahead, Paul. Javon, good to see you, man. Good to see you too, Paul. What What's this like? You get a, you. I mean, how How did you find out you were playing Valpo? What was your reaction? Were there texts with the guys back at Valpo? Just kind of was it exciting? Um, I, I mean, it was exciting. Uh, the first time I found, I think it was like right after they postponed our Georgetown game. Uh, sister was like, we might be playing Valparaiso. I'm like, wow. Uh, and then like right after that, on our way to the airport from leaving from Georgetown, uh, Malik called me. He's like, yeah, we playing. I'm like, yeah, I just found out. So I mean, so it was very exciting. 
It just is it is it weird when you're on the court? You and Saki were such good friends, and all of a sudden he's got to try to d you up, or you're going against him. I mean, what 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 you've played a lot against these guys in open gyms. I mean, what what was that like? Was there trash talking or anything like that? Nothing like that. I mean, it wasn't like nothing. I feel like both teams, both uh, teams, was just then got out that I was on another team, so they just had to play. They didn't have to worry about me. It was just all about it was all about both teams just being on that court playing as hard as you can to get that win. And and now that it's over, I mean, what is it is it bragging rights? Kind of what 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 goes back with the conversations with you guys? Uh, nothing at all. I mean, if they want to say that, then they can. But it's nothing. We still cool, still family friends. Very good. And, and my final question is just how is this year going? I know Coach is talking about you guys have been up against so much adversity and obstacles and everything. But to find out that you're eligible to play, to get into the flow, just where are you at mentally and, and going into this season? Uh, I mean, I'm like we, we're all still getting around, still getting to know each other, uh, getting that team chemistry. So, I mean, as of right now, we're doing a better job at it. Uh, we're just going to keep moving forward. Very good. Hey, great to see you, Javon. Thank you. Greg, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Uh, any other questions for Javon, for uh, Steve or Lawrence? Uh, go ahead, Lawrence. Yeah, I just had uh, one, one question, Javon. Obviously, you guys were, um, you know, trying to get that second win of the season. How good does it feel now that you guys were able to snap the losing streak and get back into a, a positive uh, mood again? I feel really good, uh, especially to get a win like that, because uh, now we all can have our confidence back. All right, anything else for Javon? Uh, otherwise, we'll have Romeo hop in real quick and take a couple more questions. All right, thanks, Javon. Thank you. Thank you. If you got a question for Romeo, go ahead and raise your hand. All right, Lawrence Kramer from the DePaul. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, hey, Romeo, congrats. Congrats on today's win. Um, can you just talk about your performance today and uh, how, how good did it feel to get back to winning ways as well? Uh, I feel good just knowing, like, we just looking. Um, for, for me personally, I don't think we were looking bad. I just think, you know, we started off situations, you know, COVID, so we just started off a little late. So I think tonight we just went out and played hard and had fun. I feel great. Uh, Lawrence, go ahead again with the follow-up, Lawrence. Yeah, uh, Romeo, uh, Coach talked about all the things you guys have been through these last couple of weeks. Can you just talk about how, you know, hard or difficult it's been to kind of just stay focused and, um, you know, just the the mental toll it's taken on you guys with all the postponements and the COVID issues? Yeah, uh, it's been pretty hard. It ain't the easiest thing, but me, I just put my put my trust and my faith in God, and I just know He gonna He gonna make us He gonna make a way for us and get us out of this struggle. And go ahead, Lawrence, one more. Yeah, just one more question. Uh, Romeo, um, you know, just kind of going off that, you know, how kind of just how how much more are you looking forward to this kind of just the rest of the season and the games coming up? I know it's obviously been difficult, but, you know, w once it's game day, how excited are you guys to play knowing that it's never certain that the game's going to happen? Yeah, um, I ain't going to lie, I didn't have a few letdowns. A few, we, every time we go out of town, I've been like, the game get canceled, so I just, for me, it been hurt. So I just, now I just, I just stay ready. I go into every game just hoping we play, and I just be ready to play. So, so do my teammates, though. We all just lock in with each other, and we got each other back, no matter what happened. And another question from Steve Newhouse. Go ahead, Steve. Hey, Romeo. You know, coming off that last game where the team had, you know, so many turnovers. Was it a really big focus for you guys coming into this game to, you know, not turn the ball over so much? Um, amongst ourselves, me and the guys, we didn't really practice it too much, but amongst ourselves, we just are, we locked in with each other. We real brothers, so we just told each other we can keep it, we keep it hundred with each other, and we just hold each other accountable. So we all just talk about it and know that the ball is precious and each possession is precious. So it just. It's just going out there and being strong with it, 
I don't think the other team is forcing it. I think it's all just on us. So I feel like we picked it up and we and we did what we had to do tonight.